Welcome to Woodlands Infant School. My name is Tony Wood and I'm the head teacher here at Woodlands. If you haven't already, please do click on the head teacher's welcome to learn a little bit more about my vision for the school. We hope that this virtual tour allows you to learn a bit more about what we offer, our values and the aims of our school. Please enjoy. Woodlands Infant School has adapted its vision and values over the past 12 months. We strive for every child to be the best me they can be through kindness, responsibility, belief, independence, creativity and curiosity. It is our aim that all children strive for excellence and that our staff and parents understand that every lesson can change a life. The purpose of our curriculum and how we achieve this is through stimulating hands-on experiences where children embrace a curiosity and love of learning. We are great believers that children need to be exposed to a range of opportunities and experiences in order to expand their likes and to learn new skills. We have golden time in years one and two, which is an hour long opportunity at the end of the week where children participate in a club of their choice. This includes yoga, gymnastics, German, football skills, mindfulness, construction club and many more. Children are rotated each term to allow them to work with a different group of children and be inspired by adults own hobbies and enjoyment. During the current climate, Golden Time Club is running slightly differently, where children are working in their class bubbles on a project chosen by the children, but we aim to resume our normal way of working as soon as it is safe to do so. Here at Woodlands, we have two main goals. The first is to drive challenge for all of our pupils through our innovative and immersive curriculum. Here is our school display showing our school development plan. This is our shared vision that all staff work towards over an academic year. We keep these objectives as they evolve on a three year cycle, ensuring that they are truly embedded. You can access this document in the link below this website. The second image shows one of our many wellbeing displays in school. This is a family wellbeing display with guidance and support that matches our vision to support pupils wellbeing. This has been a focus of ours for the past 12 months and our families and staff had adapted well to the wellbeing being the core of our curriculum. Pupils and their families understand that it's okay to talk about mental health and to seek support. If we do this well, we believe our pupils will grow up to have the skills and strategies needed to care for their own wellbeing as well as ways to support others. This is what makes us unique at Woodlands and we are currently completing our wellbeing award for schools. Please see our wellbeing strand on the website for additional information that we hope is supportive to you. I will discuss other areas of our wellbeing further on in this video. Here is a display of another area close to our hearts. Woodland strives to look at ways to reduce our waste and to teach our children the difference they can make to their planet, leading the way for making a difference for the future. We have an eco council in school who meet weekly to discuss changes, to look at better ways to work and to get messages across from other children and staff, delivering them across the school to have an impact on changing our planet for the better. As well as an eco council, we also have a school council who help to drive other initiatives such as fundraisers, pupil voice and ways to improve our school. In addition to this, we have a wellbeing team. This is a group of staff, including myself, who work with students and families to support wellbeing development, directing families to bespoke support. Our pupils support here too. Each class has wellbeing champions who support their peers from being alone at playtime and being a good friend to being someone who listens to them when they need help. This is a particularly prestigious role at Woodlands and all of the roles are voted for by children within their class. Here is a snapshot of our school hall, which is used for a variety of purposes from clubs to eating lunch, PE and an extended space for some of our lessons. Assemblies are currently taking place virtually, but usually take place here also. Now we'd like to take you around to see some of our classrooms. Woodlands is a two form entry infant school. This means that there are two classes of 30 pupils per year group and we look after children from the ages of three to seven. Welcome to nursery. We accept children in nursery from the term after their third birthday, meaning that there are three entry points to nursery within the year, September, January and April. 
We are able to offer 15 or 30 hours provision. And as you can see, we have a beautiful space for our children to thrive and learn. Last year, we had the nursery classroom renovated to maximise the opportunities that we can offer our children. This is one of our two outdoor learning spaces in nursery. Children participate in a range of activities outdoors that allows them to be more physically active, but learning is still core to their play. Our outdoor areas are currently in process of renovation so that we can maximise opportunities for exploration. I will share information relating to this in just a moment. Here are one of our reception classrooms. We have the opportunity for children to free flow between the two classrooms, maximising our learning space and ensuring that they can make many friendships. Here you can see each classroom is large, inviting and engaging. We have a vast amount of learning resources so children believe they are playing, whilst really they are having their learning guided by an adult. Welcome to our reception outdoor area. This is a shared space for both reception classes and crosses over with part of our nursery outdoor space. We aim to have this space renovated this academic year to include a digging area, larger sand pit, a stage, an allotment space for children to learn about growing food and also to have a cage for our school rabbits. Children learn similar activities inside and outside when they are learning, but are receptive in different ways. Some children will almost always choose to be indoors or outdoors and others will move freely between the space. We mimic similar activities in both areas to enable children to independently access activities linked to that set by their class teacher. These are called explore activities and allow children to digest information through activities quickly and effectively. They also allow our teachers and teaching assistants opportunities to tailor each child's individual needs. Here you can see an example of a year one classroom. All of our year one and two classrooms have a similar layout. They are very spacious with an interactive whiteboard, carpet space and seating area, as well as access directly to their outdoor learning area, which I'll come to next. Here is an example of our canopied area outside in one of our outdoor learning classrooms. This allows for us to do small group work and for practical activities to be extended outside of the classroom. Here is one of our year two classrooms. As you can see, the layout is similar, but teachers are encouraged to add their personal style to their teaching environment. As well as the school library, every classroom in school has a reading area. Woodland staff understand the importance of reading for pleasure, as well as reading to access their curriculum. We have a huge drive on reading for enjoyment, as well as teaching children to decode. It is an invaluable skill that children enjoy this process. Children are encouraged to borrow books from school or from the class library so that they can read a book of interest, as well as having a book chosen by their class teacher to target their reading development. At Woodlands, we also use working walls to provide children with prompts relative to their current learning to help work as aids. Here is a maths working wall in year two. Next, I'd like to briefly show you our key stage one outdoor area. This is used to grow food that is sometimes sold, donated or used in our school kitchen. It is also a place for children to explore. Children at Woodlands participate in forest school in early years once a week and in key stage one every other week. We use this area as well as our wider grounds such as our school pond, our field and our bug hotel to explore and learn about outdoors. From February to July, we use Bill's Wood for our forest school provision, making dens, learning about trees and habitats, as well as integrating rich and wide vocabulary opportunities, links to maths, science and our topic projects. Here at Woodlands, we also have our own before and after school club provision. We understand and value the importance of downtime for children, especially those who can be here from 7.30 in the morning or until 6pm at night. 
With that in mind, we also value the opportunity to extend children's opportunities and experiences of arts, crafts, language, visual literacy and learning games, where children learn through play and practitioners can work with class teachers to look at opportunities to support learning, where children believe they are simply playing. For example, a child who finds it difficult to comprehend text will be encouraged and enthused to play dress up, to reenact stories, make predictions, create their own puppet theatre to support their in-school learning. This is never forced and is always done through play. We also have a trim trail at the front of school, another way for children to keep active and enjoy their surrounded spaces within the school. Here is a photo of our school playground. We have a playground leader at lunchtime who plays with the children to provide them with opportunities to learn new skills such as basketball as well as sets our playground up with exciting areas such as a reading or construction area for those children who want to focus on something different. During the current climate, this is currently led by class lunchtime supervisors and done within year group bubbles. We hope that you found the information in this short video helpful. Please do get in touch with us if you have any questions. I understand that choosing the right school for your child is really important. So please do check out other areas of our website to get a wider feel of who we are. There are testimonials from children and parents below, as well as additional information we hope that you will find useful. Please take care and thank you for considering us for your child's start to their education.